Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder and here we are back on Jersey Farming here. Uh, hometown, home state farming. Simulator 22. We, oh, wrong way. We have uh, gone and planted our fields with everything we needed. We had a little bit of oat from the field when we uh, initially harvested our fields to restart this series a little bit. We're just going to go over and sell this uh, real quick. Um, we don't need it All right now. Ah, stop. Is this where I'm going to sell it at? Yeah. There we go. All right, so we're going to make a little bit of profit off of that. And then we will head back and show you guys our fields and the progress we've made. Um, the main goal here today was to pretty much just uh, get everything planted and sell this off and then use some of our profits in the future here to expand our venture. I would really like to, um, so we're doing canola right now on our fields, but I would really like to move on to uh, older wheats in the future so that I can do bread. Bread is a really simple thing to profit on that I think it may not be the most profitable, but for the steps involved and for streaming, for, uh, for video recording purposes, the number of steps involved to make bread is incredibly low. So it makes for a faster product output the, for me that I like to do. Um, I still would like to get into corn and or sunflowers again because they still have the headers. So it is something I'm considering doing and I would like to take that corn. Uh, ideally, I would love to sell the corn like as in like the way that New Jersey does corn, which is on the ear because there's a big uh, New Jersey sweet corn sale system that goes on in the state on a regular basis. But um, you know that's not something that I can do in this was to sell corn directly at all. It seems to be like that corn is in the grain grain form, you know, in the kernels. Which I think is a little weird. But long story short, um, we will do get get back to sunflowers and, and our corn soon. Um, we have to do a few um, harvests, I believe, with our canola for a little bit so we can get the profit in. Um, and then what we can do after that. And once we get the profit in, then we can convert some of our fields to corn and or sunflower and then move our, on from canola to something that can be baled. Because I, I always like baling. As much as it may not be as profitable to do a baled crop, uh, I do like to collect bales and sell them. And if I'm doing bales, then I obviously would like to do silage along the way as well. One of the things that Jersey is also known for, which we talked about in episodes past, is um, uh, wineries. So I'd like to get some grapes uh, harvested and we could sell them to the local wineries, which would be great. There's actually a bunch down in the Vineland area in New Jersey. One of them being Valenzano Wineries, one of my favorites uh, being in Jersey. I know all the Jersey wines, so if you guys want recommendations for wines, I could tell you quite a few out there. I'm not a wine connoisseur, but I am definitely a wine, New Jersey wine uh, enthusiast to some degree. So let us, um, actually, you know, we're going to convert this trailer into, because we're not going to be harvesting anything anytime soon, but we will be harvesting our tomatoes, another thing that Jersey is known for. Let's get that converted into the correct, uh, here we are. Customize, and it needs to be in auto pallets. Done. back up and let us go begin loading up our truck with some of these trailers up with some of these tomatoes the processing of tomatoes one of the things I will say I oh I really don't care for in this game is how long it takes for certain things to be um, processed I mean I think it takes a long time for certain things to convert into their product I mean this is a lot of tomatoes Okay, I don't know what 500 quote unquote liters looks like, but if these are assumably two or three rows stacked high of tomatoes, a hundred tomato plants can make easily in a season one of these. Okay, so this isn't exactly scale appropriately, but if we assume we have four, eight, so there's 16 here. Well, let's just say that there's, I don't know, I'm, over, I'm overestimating here, probably like 30 plants in here, okay? And there's another 30 plants in here, so that's 60 plants altogether. These 60 plants could probably make a crate of these within a season, no problem. So it definitely takes a lot longer, but, you know, for the sake of this game, I feel like these things should be producing a little bit faster than 
than reality because one month to the next I can produce a lot of tomatoes and it continues to produce tomatoes all year long you know getting a crate of tomatoes like this just seems a little bit uh, strange I feel like there maybe I do need more of these to make it worthwhile but it just doesn't seem like to be worthwhile it's just like really passive income uh, not my favorite way to go but it is something that is happening here I might what the heck does that sound someone's doing something <laughs> um, I might consider uh, no longer using this kind of trailer for this tr sort of transport and then get something a little bit smaller um, an auto loading trailer um, with another small or maybe just a pickup truck and just start filling the pickup truck up just because this trailer although it's auto loading as you can see here we don't get all that much often so to make to constantly common to convert this back over back and forth between a pallet loading and a um, grain holding machine uh, trailer I, I'd rather just have a pickup truck sitting here at all times just that I can load up and then once it's full go sell it um, you know just takes time to have to do all that so anyways we're gonna let it sit here for now um, and as you guys saw here our fields are planted we are at a growth stage of two out of eight on the canola and I said I did that field canola and that field canola everything has been seeded fertilized and is up to uh, speed where are we up here no rolling was done but that's okay it's not gonna harm our yield all that much and hopefully we get a decent output of our canola this uh, this, this next harvest definitely want to consider uh, moving to something else in the future um, not a huge fan of having to do um, canola right now but it is something we're gonna do in the meantime one of the things I could also do, and we said that grapes is uh, something I'd like to get into, there is another option. Uh, oh, wrong okay. thing. There is another option for us uh, to do grapes. Uh, I go here. Construction. I believe it's under. Orchards. And here we have grape vines. Obviously, that we could do this, but in greenhouses, there is a grape orchard that functions like a greenhouse um, now this is feels a little bit cheaty but we're a small farm we we are not providing grapes to one of the larger wineries in the area um, oh I got a friend rolling really watch cool um, so we are considering to possibly do like a few of this for our own sake maybe we make our own wine or we like to grow a specialty variety of grapes for a local winery that does small batch wines. This might be something to consider to do. Um, but we don't really have the space. If we did it here, we would do it in this small patch here, and then we would just pick up our uh, wine crates, our grape grape crates, a little bit at a time. Something to consider. I mean, it's cheap. It's only a thousand bucks. Could be fun to try. We have an open air garden here. We could try to uh, convert this over and do that. Um, we have these long ones. I'm not a fan of these either. We already have our large greenhouse. So we might consider doing this. Um, maybe in the next harvest, we will consider putting a bunch of these down. Uh, we could do the real thing and we could do grapevines, but we are not at that stage of being able to do massive amounts of grapes. Um, what would it take to do a thousand? Yeah, it cannot be planted in September anyways. Um, but this allows us to do it outside of September, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So you'll put these down. So what we'll do guys is we'll check in with you guys in the next well not the next episode, but in a little bit after we've uh harvest or on the way to harvesting these fields. Um we'll skip ahead to those months and then see what kind of profit we make and see what we can buy with that kind of money. Uh we'll check with you guys then soon. See you in a bit. All right, everybody, we're back, and we have uh, done about three loads of tomatoes in this time frame of uh, waiting to get to the growing season, so that's also helped us a bit. We earned quite a bit of bucks from that. We also sold um, a couple of items that we're not using right now. We sold our water tank for transport. We also saw a deal on our header for corn. We sold our old header and bought a new header. Now, by new, I mean we sold our basically new header and bought a used one um, because of that it, it came out um, cheaper as well as also netted us some money so we did took care of that um, 
And we have, uh, like I said, done some of these tomatoes, so that made us a bit too. And now we are um, in the process of beginning to harvest our canola. So on our fields right now, we should have a canola uh, harvester going, and we'll check in with that as soon as this is done making us our last batch of a few thousand bucks. Now it's not going to be the last batch, but it's going to be the last batch for a bit because we need to convert this trailer back over to being a um, uh, bulk harvester uh, goods hauler so that we can get our fields completely uh, emptied. I have coursework set up so that the um, harvester is should get full automatically dump now if it's if it's smart it'll automatically dump at the silo which would save us the trouble of needing to have this trailer out otherwise this trailer will be what we needed to uh, do anyways for us so oops this needs to be unloaded so the question is, is will it automatically do that for us uh, that I do not know I see it sitting over there and it seems to have stopped to unload but it doesn't seem to be unloading automatically. I can see it from here that it's kind of just sitting there. So, let me just change something here. Stop while unloading. Always stops driving while unloading. I mean, that would be ideal. But it doesn't seem to have found anything to do that. So, we'll reactivate that. Combine delivers to a trailer or on or near the field to unload, not supported in multi-tools or convoy mode. Okay, so it's looking for a trailer on or near the field, and there just isn't one. So we, we gotta get this guy converted back over. Um, I thought about maybe buying a new trailer, but um, I, I don't really want to right now, plus I'd like to save the money up. This is also on sale, it's a baler with a wrapper. Um, I thought about that potentially, picking that up for the sale there, so that way we could start doing um, mowing and uh, collection of silage but I don't like the two-in-one uh, wrappers because I like to be able to get a combination of things and I think sometimes the wrapper combination is really just mainly just for silage and I, I don't know that I mean I've done it before I've done it where uh, I've used it to harvest straw and it doesn't obviously wrap it just dumps but um, I don't really care for that particular straw baler I'd like to save our money, buy a cheaper one, um, maybe if it goes on sale it'll be even cheaper than the 20000 that we can afford it, and then um, be able to wrap grass when we get there with a really cheap wrapper, or just store our grass um, on the side until we can wrap it, I mean that's something we could do too, plus I'd also like to be able to wrap straw, which I learned that with this particular map, I believe it is, that you can... Um, uh, get straw swaths off of canola fields which I did not know and it started and I was like oh no 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 I don't want that so I have removed that ability from the harvester right now until we get a really cheap baler so let's get this back up to 8,000 okay let's get this brought over and we'll see if it detects it now that it's on the field. Uh, it should be detecting it now that we're closer, but maybe it didn't because it, it didn't detect it when it went to search for it. So it's possible that it will only do it when uh, it's ready to. Let's see here. That's detecting it now. So that's good. Cool. All right, so it's gonna unload. canola here and then we'll just park this on the field um, and see how it performs um, also the other tractor over there has the cultivator uh, ready to go so it'll do this field as we go I'll set it to do it up after this uh, harvester is like harvested three quarters of the field so that way the harvester gets a bit of a head start and we're gonna go ahead and collect all of this and we'll see you guys um, once all of this has been collected off of all these fields and we'll see you then because um, we do not need to rush anytime soon to get there so oops so let us also do one other thing here that we should probably do and that is slow down the game oh, slow down the game a bit because it's gonna take a little while all right 
And we'll pull this guy off to the side and let the harvester do its job. And let this tractor just sit on the field and collect on its own. Um, and there's not much else we're going to be doing in the meantime, so we'll come back and check in with you guys. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse. And see you later. All right, everybody, we have finished collecting everything from our fields. We have now 30,461 liters of canola. And we have already begun to prep the fields for the next sowing, sowing, sow, sowing, sowing would be a pig, um, sowing of the fields. So we have cultivated all the fields and they are ready to be planted. Now, we want to take a look at what we could plant this season. Oops, wrong one. Um, we can do our corn right now if we wanted to do some corn, which I think we might because corn is very much something I could do right this minute. And then in a short little while, we can do um, wheat or barley, which I would like to do either of those. Oh, we're now out of the window. Some flowers were out of the windows. We can also do soybeans, which is something we're also known for here in New Jersey. So I'm going to do corn and soybeans on the fields. I don't know that soybeans result in a straw swath, um, but we're not quite there yet. I haven't bought the materials for it, so maybe we'll do corn on the big field, and then we'll do soybeans on the two smaller fields. That way they can both be harvested. So corn will be harvested, if not this season, the soybeans will be harvested this season, and then we can do... Um, potentially um, planting of barley or wheat uh, at the same time after we harvest the corn and the soybeans. So we're going to see how that plays out. So let's go get these planted as soon as possible. All right, so this is now done. Let's go ahead and drop this off and go get the field uh, planted with corn. And I believe I'll have to drop this up here. Go get our corn, our corn, uh, oh, corn, 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 that's the other planter. Now, I just want to make sure that the planter, let's see what the planter's horsepower is 150, and the cedar's horsepower is 60, and this tractor is not enough. Okay, so we won't be able to seed with the, uh, the other tractor at this moment, <clears throat> but we can plant the big field, so let's go ahead and 
start planting on the big field. Also, we are quite filling up this um, uh, out barn here with materials, so I'd like to uh, get a move on with that. Oops, wrong way. Crashing. All right, we are now officially stuck. There we go, it just broke free. All right, good. Now, do any of our fields need to be lined too? Because that's another good question here. I don't believe they do. No, but they do need rolling, which, again, I am not going the route of rolling. <clears throat> I don't think it will be necessary. Let us get... Um, so this does not fertilize the field, so we will have to follow up with a fertilization and then another fertilization. Um, can we fill this from here? We can. Okay. That is now filled. And <clears throat> I don't know that we need to, but we might as well go use a course play. Harvest your big field and we'll load that course. Let's clear the current course. We'll load the big field and activate it. We'll show the whole thing. Um, now, I don't know if this is going to be wide enough. I, I want to say it will be because the harvester, I think, is not as wide as this. So this will be more than enough to do the actual uh, planting of this field. So the field should be ready to be planted with this current state. So let's go ahead and open that up. We're going to show all waypoints to start. And then go to start and stop only. First waypoint, hire worker. What are you doing? What are you doing? I guess you gotta transport to it. Let's see what it does. <clears throat> okay, it's opening back up. I got this field planted with corn. Let's see how that turns out. Needs to be refilled. I don't understand. I don't understand. It needs to be refilled. It's filled. I, I don't. I don't understand. So let us. Let's just do a standard hire here. That seems to be working. All right. So we'll just do a standard hire for that. It is getting planted. Corn, 51%. Does need a weeder, so we will get the weeder on our other tractor. Um, and we will do that after this is done um, being planted. It's going to miss a strip on the right side here. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's okay. So that means we could go the route of start selling our corn. Let's just, just to see, or not corn, our canola. So let's just see how that works out. Um, oh, wrong one. Canola. What is our canola at right now? We are at 894 if we go south to the green south cell point south is that oh no we can make up to twelve hundred dollars if we wait till november and so it is june so we can wait a few months so in the meantime let's go ahead and fill this guy up with canola and then we will grab We will grab our weeder, weed sprayer. <clears throat> and get you set up to do a weed spray. Which clearly you're going to be much. Uh, wider with this so we'll give this a few chances to get a few passes ahead and we'll see if you catch up I'm just curious I mean obviously it's gonna cost us some money to hire another, another person here but we will use him let's just make sure the state is being achieved so here it says weeder needed, and then over here 
I should say. No more weights. Cool. So yes, it does work. So we will set you up with that in just a moment. Give you a chance to catch up and we'll um we'll check in with you guys when this field is planted with the corn and we have planted these two fields with um what do we say? Soybeans. I'm pretty sure soybeans can be done with that one too, but I, I could be wrong. So we'll check in with you guys and everything's been planted and everything has been sprayed and everything's been fertilized. Because we're really just looking at a you know a little bit of time so I think we already will just cut to that part because you guys don't need to see this process and uh, yeah no, we'll show a little montage why not I think you guys might enjoy it see you later Alrighty everybody, we have finished doing all of the planting and fertilization. There's only one more state of fertilization needed on the larger field that we'll have to do after the first growth stage. And then everything will be in place to uh, harvest in the next couple of months. Um, uh, so we can look forward to harvesting, harvesting our um, corn in October and our soybeans in also in October. Uh, which is great because um, when we do that we can then plant some wheat or barley um, that we won't be able to harvest so yeah, it kind of stinks not until July of next year but then we won't be able to do yeah then we won't be able to do anything so yeah kind of stinks we're kind of caught between a bunch of things we'll probably have to do canola canola in February well you see how it goes but everybody, thanks for coming by and watching. This is Chuck Thunder signing out. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you like what you see. Take care.